The muscle car market has been an interesting beast to track over the last few decades. After the explosion of mainstream popularity of auto auctions, cars that were once disregarded by a clueless owner are now the most sought after cars around. This has also effectively turned car collectors into treasure hunters who would appreciate these rare muscle cars with less than 10 examples that ever made it to the road. Prepare to journey into the realm of the exceptionally rare as we count down the top six muscle cars that had less than 10 examples make it into production. Starting our countdown at number six, we have the 1969 Pontiac Firebird Trans AM convertible with only eight examples ever produced. The 69 Trans AM convertible was a paragon of American muscle, a symphony of power and design. Under its striking white and blue exterior, it housed a roaring 400 cubic inch V8 engine, delivering a mighty 345 horsepower. This power, coupled with its unique aerodynamic design, made it a force to be reckoned with on the open road. But what makes this car so rare? Well, it was born out of a high performance package for the Firebird, but due to its late introduction in the model year and a hefty price tag, only a handful made it into production. 1969 was the inaugural year of the Trans AM for the Firebird line, and easily one of the most popular monikers. Only 689 Trans AM hardtops were made in 1969, making them pretty rare. But if you can find a soft top, you're looking at only one of eight to ever exist. The most recent for sale date we can find is a 1969 Trans AM convertible that failed to sell with a high bid of $1.9 million. At number five, we have the 1971 Plymouth Hemi Cuda Convertible, with a mere seven examples in existence. The Cuda Convertible is a rare gem in the world of muscle cars, a jewel born in the heart of the 70s, a time when power and performance were the name of the game. One of the standout features of this car is its heart, the 426 cubic inch Hemi V8 engine. This beast of an engine would roar to life with the turn of a key, promising a ride that could take your breath away. But it's not just the engine that makes this car a collector's dream. It's distinctive styling. From the wide grille to the shaker hood and the iconic Barracuda emblem adds to its allure. Not to forget the convertible top, a feature that sets it apart from many of its contemporaries and adds to its rarity. If you've never seen a Cuda convertible in person, you're not alone. Only seven people were able to get their hands on the Hemi Barracuda in 1971. And if you can find one today, Expect to dish out somewhere near $4 million if you want to own it. With only seven ever produced, the 1971 Plymouth Hemi Cuda Convertible is a muscle car that's truly one in a million. Coming in at number four is the 1966 Shelby GT350 Convertible, with only six examples ever made. If your mind goes to 1968 when you hear the mention of a GT500 Convertible, that's natural but there were some convertibles made in 1966. The problem would be buying one back then, since they were only available to Shelby's close friends and family. Although rarely up for sale, one did cross the auction block at Meekum with a hammer price of $1.1 million in July of 2021. Additionally, this beauty embodies the very essence of what a muscle car should be. Powerful, imposing, and exceedingly rare. The heart of the GT350 is its high-performance V8 engine, which is capable of producing an earth-shattering 306 horsepower. That power, coupled with the car's lightweight construction, made it a force to be reckoned with on the road and the track. Its sleek lines and the unmistakable roar of its engine are all part of a package that captures the spirit of a bygone era. The 1966 Shelby GT350 convertible is a testament to the era of muscle cars, an era defined by power and rarity. The very few examples of this car that exist today are more than just vehicles. They're pieces of automotive history. At number three, we have the 1969 Hearst Oldsmobile 442 convertible with only three models ever produced. Now, this is a car that's as rare as they come. It was born from the collaboration between Oldsmobile and the performance parts supplier, Hearst. The result? A machine that's a marvel of American automotive engineering. The 442 convertible boasts a powerful 455 cubic inch V8 engine, producing a staggering 380 horsepower. 
This muscle car not only roars on the road, but also turns heads with its striking Firefrost gold paint job and distinctive Hearst dual gate shifter, giving the driver full control over the beast under the hood. Its scarcity is the primary reason why it's sought after by collectors. With only three models in existence, owning a 1969 Hearst Oldsmobile 442 convertible is akin to possessing a piece of automotive history. While the special edition car was ordered as a two-door coupe, Hearst built a limited number of convertibles for only three customers. The second rarest muscle car ever produced is the 1966 Dodge Coronet Hemi sedan, with only two examples in existence. The Coronet was a staple of the Dodge lineup in the 60s, but the Hemi sedan version was like nothing else. It boasted a monstrous 425 horsepower, thanks to its 7-liter Hemi V8 engine. The 1966 Dodge Coronet Hemi sedan was a unique blend of family car and muscle car. Its unassuming exterior concealed a powerhouse engine making it a true sleeper car. This rarity combined with its raw power and the mystique of the Hemi name is why it's so sought after among muscle car enthusiasts. Its scarcity and performance pedigree make the Coronet Hemi sedan more than just a muscle car. The Hemi engine didn't start showing up heavily in four-door cars until the second coming of Dodge, but there were a few examples that were made in the past. One being the 1966 Coronet sedan with a Hemi engine, but only two of these cars were made. Finally, the rarest muscle car ever produced is the 1967 Shelby GT500 Super Snake, with only one example in existence. This jewel in the crown of muscle car lore is a unicorn among these powerful beasts, a paragon of power and rarity that has collectors and enthusiasts alike gasping in awe. The 1967 Shelby GT500 Super Snake is a marvel of automotive engineering. Under the hood, it boasts a 7-liter supercharged V8 engine, churning out an impressive horsepower that leaves its competitors in the dust. This monster of a machine can go from 0 to 60 in a matter of seconds, a testament to its raw power and intimidating performance capabilities. What sets the Super Snake apart, however, is its rarity. Only one was ever produced, making it the ultimate prize for collectors. Its scarcity is due to the high cost of its production, with the price tag for the Super Snake significantly higher than that of its contemporaries. Despite the high cost, the Super Snake was a testament to what could be achieved in the realm of performance and design, pushing the boundaries of what was possible in a muscle car. The Super Snake's history is as fascinating as the car itself. Born from a collaboration between Ford and Shelby American, it was designed to be the fastest and most powerful car on the road. The Super Snake made its debut in a spectacular fashion, setting a new top speed record during a tire test run. The 1967 Shelby GT500 Super Snake is the epitome of rarity in the muscle car world, a true unicorn among these powerful beasts. It's a car that commands respect and admiration, a testament to the golden age of muscle cars and a symbol of what can be achieved when power, performance, and design come together in perfect harmony. The car last sold in winter 2019 for $2.2 million. Well, there you have it. Six of the best American muscle cars with less than 10 examples that ever made it to the road. Which of these bad boys did you find interesting? Share your thoughts on the comments down below. Until then, I'll catch you on the next one.